Hello friends, welcome to our online channel. So in the previous lecture we have seen that chapter number 6 that is CNC, DNC technology. So today we will see the chapter number 7 that is the tooling for CNC machines. Okay, so so we uh, for that automation we are using that uh, various uh, CNC, VMC, HMC machines for manufacturing. So for that purpose uh, we required sir, um, for some tooling for that machines so we will see in details in this chapter for tooling for the CNC machines so this is the syllabus for this tooling for the CNC first is tool holder adapters tool magazines automatic tool changers pallets tool setting and modular tooling so we will see one by one first is tool holders uh, before going into syllabus, this type of question uh, they will ask in university like what is a tool presetter, elaborate wooden sketch, short note on ATC, discuss importance of ATC, magazine, uh, pallets and modular tooling. This is some of the sample question paper questions from the our university question papers. So we will see first point that is a tool holder tool holder is a um, nothing but uh, one of the unit which is just carrying that particular tool for the further operation it is a short bar having a shank at one end by which is a clamp to the machine and second end clamp to other which is a hold small interchangeable cutting tools okay so basically we are using this tool holder for the holding the tool purpose okay for uh, doing the machining operation so this is just the definition of the tool holder uh, for that in general uh, following the points are to be considered while designing the CNC tool holder that is the first to give high accuracy the tool holder will provide the high accuracy for that particular tool for variety operations uh, we are just doing different different operation for that particular one um, part manufacturing so it uh, that tool holder will give the variety of the operations uh, we can easily change uh, uh, different different tools by using these tool holders so we will get the variety of the products interchangeability to produce same accuracy okay so we will uh, get the better option as compared to uh, uh, interchangeability of the produce same accuracy with the different different product next is flexibility that will be provides more flexibility to uh, that manufacturing rigidity of tooling to withstand cutting forces will get more to life across the cutting forces rigidity to transmit the power at a higher speed will get the rigidity to transfer the more more speed to that uh, operations quick changing of the tool to keep the downtime minimum because of this tool holder we can change the tool within less time so that will lead to the less downtime and that will lead to the more productivity okay so this will be some points to consider the designing time of the cnc tool holders so next point is adapter Adapter is a nothing but uh, it is one of the device that connects or allow to function together non-fittings components like in CNC to match with taper of the spindle taper of adapter is near about 1 as to 10 to ratio 20 ratio so adapter it is a device which is allowed to connect two different part or fitting purpose we are going to use this with the taper of the adapter Okay, so you can just see this one of the example is there here uh, one slot drill is there and uh, uh, retention knob is there so by using this adapter we are going to connect this to different tapering part for a particular assembly so this is just uh, information about the adapter or just introductory part of the adapter next part is tool magazines tool magazines it is nothing but uh, one of the tool storage unit where we can store the required number of the tools for the particular operation 
टूल मैगजीन आर मोर कॉमनली फाउंड ऑन मशीनिंग सेंटर बिकॉज ऑन दिस मशीन मेनी नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन आर परफॉर्म फ्रॉम ऑल साइड्स ऑफ द वर्क इन वन सेटअप दज वी रिक्वायर अ लार्जर वराइटी ऑफ द टूल्स ऑन मशीनिंग सेंटर्स ए सी टी ए टी सी दैट मीन्स एटोमेटिक टूल चेंजिंग कंसिस्ट ऑफ टूल मैगजीन फॉर स्टोरिंग द टूल्स एंड अ टूल चेंज यूनिट फॉर ट्रांसफरिंग द टूल फॉर्म टूल मैगजीन टू स्पिंडल नॉर्मली टूल मैगजीन कंटेंस फोर्टी टू वन हंड्रेड टूल्स मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस टूल मैगजीन फॉर जस्ट क्रिएटिंग द वराइट ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स पर्पज इट इज नथिंग बट वन ऑफ द स्टोरेज ऑफ द टूल्स सपोज यू कैन टेक द वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द सी एन सी मशीन वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ नंबर ऑफ द सॉरी वराइटी ऑफ द पार्ट्स सो फॉर दैट पर्पज वी रिक्वायर मोर नंबर ऑफ टूल्स ओके एट अ वन प्लेस सो फॉर दैट पर्पज वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन और वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट द टूल मैगजीन एंड इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू एटोमेटिक टूल चेंजर इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टोर द रिक्वायर्ड टूल्स एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ द ऑपरेशन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड दैट पर्टिकुलर टूल टू दैट स्पेंडर एंड दे विल परफॉर्म दैट रिक्वायर्ड ऑपरेशन ओके सो दिस इज द टूल मैगजीन एंड जनरली इन दैट टूल मैगजीन नियर अबाउट फोर्टी टू हंड्रेड टूल विल बी स्टोर्ड सो टाइप्स ऑफ द टूल मैगजीन देर आर टू टाइप्स इन दैट फर्स्ट वन इज ड्रम टाइप टूल मैगजीन यू कैन सी हियर फिगर इज देयर इन दैट नियर अबाउट एट टूल इज देयर यू कैन सी डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टूल इज देयर इन दैट टूल मैगजीन सो हियर नंबरिंग इज देयर फ्रॉम टूल नंबर वन टू थ्री सपोज आई रिक्वायर टूल नंबर फोर फॉर द फर्स्ट ऑपरेशन सो इन दैट प्रोग्रामिंग आई एम राइटिंग द ओनली टूल नंबर फोर दैट इज द फर्स्ट टी ओ जीरो दैट टूल टूल नंबर फोर वी रिक्वायर फॉर द ऑपरेशन नंबर फर्स्ट और ब्लॉक नंबर फर्स्ट सो दैट विल दैट वे वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड दैट टूल टू दैट स्पेंडर इन दिस टाइप ऑफ द टूल मैगजीन ड्रम इज यूज टू स्टोर द टूल्स एंड इट इज यूज वेन लिमिटेड नंबर ऑफ द टूल आर रिक्वायर्ड दिस टाइप ऑफ टूल मैगजीन फेयर वी कैन यूज फेयर नंबर ऑफ द टूल इज रिक्वायर्ड इन लेस और लिमिटेड दैट टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस ड्रम टाइप टूल मैगजीन ओके Now we can see this is one of the actual machine image. So here that red arrow indicates the drum type tool magazine. In this type, just limited number of the tool we can store in that machine. So this is actual picture of that machine. So next type is a chain type tool magazines. In this type, you can see uh, this is figure, and this is uh, on that. conveyor or chain you can see small small circle is there that means that is a tool holder position pocket to hold the tools so that that type of the tool or that number of the tools we can store on this chain type basically it is used for the variety of the tools are required when that time we are going to use this type of the tool magazine okay now you can see this is one of the example of the chain type tool magazine with the capacity of the 100 tool we can store at one place okay so this is the better option for fair we required variety of the products that time we are going to using chain type tool magazine so next part is advantages of the tool magazine first is that is a tool subjected to excessive wear can be duplicated to so that when a tool has reached at the end of its life another is ready for use in that tool magazines we can store the n number of tools okay and suppose in conventional machining we are going to at a time only one tool so there is a uh, downtime is more five uh, after uh, uh, end of the life of that tool so we have to replace that tool that tool takes more time in that tool magazine we can easily just change the tool with the numbering in programming and we can easily minimum this and downtime so this is the main advantages second is it is used for the various operations and it is uh, ready for the 
different different operations okay so next is disadvantages uh, due to greater number of the tool storage inventory it will be go for the higher the tool cost obviously if we are going to store the uh, more tools so it will be as a look like at the just inventory store the more tools so it will be go for the higher tool cost second is more power is required to move the larger magazines and it will be also require the more power to move that magazine so it will be also going for disadvantages so this is the overview about the tool magazine so how it works and what is the use of this tool magazines you can just see normally it contains 40 to 100 tools we can store there are two types a drum type which are usually for the only limited numbers tool this is the image for that and this is second type chain type which is uh, usually used for the fair variety of the tools required this is the image this is advantages disadvantages so we will see the next part that is the next point is tool turret it is a uh, just uh, simplest uh, automatic tool changing device with the tool change procedure it need not require a tool change arm the turret simply indices hydraulically or pneumatically to bring the tool into the position of the machining it has tool storage capacity about 12 number and generally used on turning centers and drilling machines okay as previous you can see the that uh, tool magazine we have seen that and for that purpose changing tools we require the arm okay but in that tool turret we don't require any arm for the tool change purpose okay it uh, so and it is having near about the capacity of the 12 number tool tool we can uh, store the 12 number of the tool in that tool turret system okay so this is the just advanced part of the changing the tool or store the tool you can see here this is the one of the picture of the tool turret in cnc machine so by using this uh, tool turret we are going to manufacturing the required product so advantages of the turret the time taken to change tool during the program is only the indicing time of the turret okay so here uh, we do not need for the any arm to changing the arm uh, changing the tool so it will take only just in the indicing time that will be uh, very less time so that will be lead to the increase productivity and reduce the downtime late time so next a tool is identified directly with the pocket position and hence does not require a separate identification for identify identification for the purpose um, required operation for that we are going to easily identify which tool is required and in that program we can easily acquire we can easily identify that directly tool and we are going for the next procedure there is no need to go for the any uh, identification process so this is a simple method compared to the tool magazine system in that tool magazine we require some arm for the changing the tool it will take the more time as compared to tool turret so this will be the simplest method to the changing the tool disadvantages the limited number of the tool station are available uh, there is one uh, uh, disadvantages major we can call as a major disadvantages like we can store only number of the tool station in that limited number means 12 or up to 10 okay so this is the overview about the tool turret so as compared to tool magazine this is the better option for the changing the tool it will be save our time and increase the productivity next point is is it etc automatic tool changer okay automatic tool changing can be done by using tool turret or tool magazine already we have seen that tool magazine their types tool turrets okay as compared to tool magazine tool turret is best option only that disadvantage is limited number of tool station is available in tool turret okay so automatic tool changer can be done by using this both of the system so there is a method for the tool changing m06 t03 m06 is a miscellaneous code for basically changing the tool purpose t03 means that tool number okay fair m uh, t09 is 
offset number okay like this we are going to give input in the cnc part program for the tool changing for that miscellaneous miscellaneous code is there m06 basically for the tool change okay so atc is a full proof system which is capable to machine a uh, very simple to complex components having many number of the operations the selection of the tool is done automatically by sending command to control unit the tool tool is automatically selected and changes based on the tool control function towards used in part program as uh, atc can be done by using tool turret and tool magazines and for the automatic tool changer to operate it is necessary to have the uh, following points you can see this is the some operation so we have to necessary to the uh, do the following things first is a tool magazine where sufficient number of the tools can be stored so whatever that going to that uh, uh, manufacturing we are going to that manufacturing so that tool magazine have sufficient number of the tool can be stored tool adapter that has a provision for pick up by the tool change arm the ability in the control to perform the tool change function that um, should be that machine should be have the control to perform the tool change function tool change procedure whatever that miscellaneous code is there m06 like they we require the tool number 2 so t02 okay and offset number so that thing should be have and uh, that uh, we can and for that atc purpose we can use both system tool turret and tool magazine so this is the just overview about the atc that is our automatic tool changer we can change the tool by using the tool system tool turret and tool magazine and for that some basic guideline is there so that tool magazine should have the sufficient tool number storage adapter to give provision pick up the tool change arm ability to control the perform the tool change function and tool change procedure okay this is our automatic tool changer so next we will see the next point that is our pallets pallet is nothing but uh, it is a table having a standard dimension of the hole and slot to fix the work piece okay now uh, you can see the uh, example here uh, figure two figure is here in that one pallets with hole and pallet with t slots okay in that generally components machined on hmc and vmc that horizontal machining center and vertical machining center requires large cycle time uh, further complex jobs used on this machine requires relatively complex setup times piece need to be done away from the machine tool such that the machine utilization is improved for this purpose pallets are mostly commonly used with the machining center so you can see here uh, in that figure number 1 pallets with holes there is a hole in equidistance equidistance here we can easily fix on that location as a required part so we will go for the at a time n number of the production in pallets with hole and second operation pallets with t slots there is a two arrangement one is holes and second the t slots we can fix our job in this both types and we can go for the mass production so in that a pallet may be considered as a table having standardized dimension these are normally available in standard such as 500 by 500 plate now you can see both plate is 500 by 500 second is a 630 by 630 mm uh, they come in generally two forms one with the precision with holes and other one is a t slots the blank component can be clamped and unclamped on these pallets at a location away from the machines spindle does not disturbing the machining functions and for changing pallets automatic pallets changer are available so if you want to change this pallets with hole to t slot there is a one automatic pallet changer is available we can easily change the pallets and we can easily go for the required production okay so next slide 
you can see this is the automatic palette changer is here by using this automatic palette changer we can easily change the palette type or required palette type so a typically palette changer with the rotary style palette changer okay so you can change this this is the different different palettes in that one uh, square box is there that is our workpiece and by using this palette changer you can easily change the different different palette so this is the overview about the palette so by using palette we can go for the mass production or with a standard with the help of the standard palette size so in generally 500 by 500 or 630 by 630 mm this is the standard size for the palettes and there are two types with the holes and t slots for them we can using anyone and you can go for the production so this is a automatic palette changer machine is we can change the palette with the help of this automatic palette changer so we will see the uh, next part that is a tool presetting and uh, pre uh, tool presetting means before going to start manufacturing we have to fix our tool with desired position or required position that is the most important thing and what is the necessity for this tool presetting so to check the actual wear out of the tool we have to check actual wear of the tool means after how many hours after, uh, after how many days after how many working hours our tool will be get phase out so that things we have to check uh, to minimize the tool change and tool setting time so we have to fix that tool as like this so we have to avoid this changing the tools and setting of the tool time we have to reduce okay so we have to minimize these things so that purpose we have to do the tool presetting and uh, method for this um, uh, it is done with the tool held in a tool holder so that assembly that is a tool holder which is tool holding device and cutting tool can be straight away fitted on the machine if the using of the tool holder we are going to just fit into that our required tool on that tool holder to the that away from that machine whatever that required workpiece is there our machine away from that workpiece so that is the simple method and that will give our that rule presetting will give the one benefit that regarding the reducing the our downtime so whatever our productivity is there so we will increase that productivity by using this tool presetting or we can reduce the downtime time lead time so you can see this is the one of the actual standard method for the tool presetting so by using this tool presetting equipment we can set our tool so you can see there is one equipment uh, you can see one vertical and horizontal reading is there so by using this reading we can set our tool with the uh, required position so this is the standard method for tool presetting one of uh, you can see this one of the best example for the real example of the tool presetting so typical digital tool setting system which is essential a digital height gauge useful for the machining center tool there is a two gauge one horizontal gauge is there and vertical gauge is there so by using this tool ga uh, two gauges we can easily set the tool okay so this is the information regarding the how to set the tool so next part is uh, modular tooling modular tooling uh, means um, it can be noticed uh, that in view of the variety of the machining needs the tooling system used in cnc turning centers makes use of the different shank sizes and shapes which requires different tool holders for clamping them securely in the tool turret and this makes to the tool change function as well as the design of the storage magazine a difficult one this is changed by adopting a modular tooling system such that all tools have the same type of the holding method use whether it is external or internal turning 
already we have seen that that tool holder type but in different conditions different operations we require different type of the tool holders as far as different tools for so for that purpose we require n number of the holders so in such a way that avoid that difficulty in such a way that in such a manner we have to design a modular tool holder that tool holder which is holding all type of the tools that will be beneficial for the our saving the time during the production or reducing the downtime okay for that purpose we are developing the modular tooling here we can fit different different type of the tool holders tools in a single modular tooling okay that is the benefit of the this modular tooling now you can see this is the one image modular tooling used for the turning tools in that different different sizes there you can easily remove that tool holder you can change the size of the tool holding for that given modular tooling okay from larger to the smaller so we will see the advantages of the modular tooling in that first in this system the tool changes takes only a few second for changing the tool we require only a seconds that will be most useful things for a saving the time increasing the available productive time of the machine tool by using this modular tooling we can change the tool within seconds so it will be give more product product time for the machine high tool change accuracy by using this modular tooling we will achieve the high tool change accuracy reduces tool setting time as well as it will be simple cost efficient shank design insensitive to foreign matter high static and dynamic rigidity at the uh, time of the just saving the time for the tool changing same thing as compared to the is design design also simple it will be high rigid at the static and dynamic condition so that will be good for the any machining center so it will be give more benefit for the any machining center so this is the advantages of the modular tooling and this is the worry about the modular tooling so uh, this is the some objective question sample objective question you can just see go through that you will get some ideas regarding what we have studied in earlier and uh, this is our chapter number 7 that is a uh, tooling for the cnc machines so thank you thank you so much